I'm going to keep walking into him with Ghost. Get right on top of him. Then he then he might even just, he might even like, you know, use his dash like Belveth dashes to, towards here. Still don't use your E. Okay. Use your next ult. Okay, now he might dash here. Use your E again. Keep chasing him. Then when he flashes here, then use your E. What's up everyone? I'm Coach Leo, also known as Babip. I've been a professional jungler for the past six years, played at Worlds four times, and have plenty of coaching experience. If you're interested in fast tracking your learning and achieving your desired rank, book a private coaching session or join the community by heading over to the Jungle Gap Discord, which will be in the description below. The little bit of optimization. And sometimes also you don't even need to buy a pot as well as Kha'Zix. I think it's a good strategy to do if you think you are just going to full clear anyway. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Minions have spawned. Um, and I also want to show you, yeah, let, let, let's just pretend like, as well, like we were playing that game. I, I want to really cement this, this, um, the cycling thing. Okay. So, if we were play that, to play that game again, we want to part towards bot. And while you pull, ca like, these camps like this, you want to pull them towards your next camp, right? Yeah. Which I saw you're doing a little bit. Smite the last camp. Yep, smite, always smite the first one. It'll just make your second, your next camp so much faster. Yeah. And obviously there's like the leash ranges here, right? Where you can't pull them past. But as they start dying, you know, you can kind of do this as well. And let them burn a little bit. On the wolves, you always want to try and kill the wolves, the small wolves first. Um, okay. But obviously your second W will kill. So I'm... Um, just hitting them a little bit to get them to where you can start isolating the big wolf. And then again here, look, I'm going to pull it because it's not going to reset yet. And then I can just Q. I'm going to take two points Q here, so I'm not going to take my E. I'm going to order this once so I can pull them to me. And I'm just going to kill the big one. And then while I do this, I'm going to start pulling them towards the red where I'm looking to go. Just waiting for my next W to, to, to come up so I can cast it again. And just clear really, really quickly. Um, obviously on the the blue side, if you start top, you can't skip red like you can skip the, the blue, right? Yeah. Um, and here I'm looking to um, just kill the small one, get the isolated Q. So you can even see here without a leash, you know, I'm kind of finishing around this timer. Yeah. And this is, you know, this is without a leash. So you can definitely do this every, like every game. You can kind of be in the river by this time. And then let's just say, you know, this in that game, right? You kill the Scuttle Crab. You do whatever bot. You like gank or something. Right? You kill this. You gank bot or something. You, you use a little bit of time. With these two trinkets, you can kind of just drop these like this. And that will cover, you know, these two entrances. So if you're, if the enemy jungle comes this way, you see him. If he comes this way, you see him. If he comes uh, this way, you see him. If he comes this way, you see him. Yeah. You, see, you see how it kind of covers all bases on the yeah. bot side here? And then, you know, you're going to buy your items, whatever. Get out of base as quickly as possible, because now we know that our Gromp is spawning right now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I if I start top and then come bot, then I want to be coming back to Gromp after my full clear. And yep. then if I started bot and went top, I would be going to Krogs. Exactly, yep. And it's okay to waste a little bit of time, you know, doing these wards. Because look how, like, amazing these wards are for your for your bot side. The, the lane that you're playing around, right? Your strong side. You said, I don't really sure what to do when there's nothing to do after my full clear. But this is what you do. You give them vision. Okay. I don't know if it's your your friends that were the bot lane, but yeah, they'll be thanking you for these wards. So now the only way that yeah. the enemy jungle can gank bot is through the lane, right? Which is kind of unlikely. So then after you clear these two camps right here, right? You're going to think here, do I go to Grubs? Do I go to my Raptors? Right? Okay. Do I go to the dragon? Do I invade him? Because now I see, you know, maybe I can invade his Grump here, right? Because I see it's, it's up. 
on the water. So you can come here and be like, okay, I can't go to the grobs. I don't want to go to the grobs. I want to go bot side. Okay, I'm going to skip these camps. I'm going to run here. I'm going to gank bot. I'm going to do something. You know what? I'm going to take his grump, his grump here. <laughs> right? And then you're thinking, okay, now I'm going to look to gank bot or something. So you're using all your time on the bot side instead of the top side. Okay, I'm going to gank bot. Okay, nice. We, we, we killed bot, whatever. Okay, now okay, now I have some spare time. I know that my Gromp is spawning when? Around like 6.30, right? Yeah. So depending on how much time you use on the other side of the map, right? So now we can go back. Okay, now I'm going to do these camps again. Because now I just yeah, I used my time here. I ganked bot. I did his Gromp. All right, I'm going to take my camps now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now I know that my, my, my Gromp is still not spawning, you know, for another... So I have I, I can take one more camp, right? So I'm going to take my Raptors too. And then after this, I know it's my time to base. I'm not going to waste any more time anyway, right? Oh, I'm going to try not to anyway. I'm going to base right now. Because now I know that my Gromp's spawning soon. Now I'm going to buy items again. Whatever it is. Using my E out of base. And you see how, like, flowing this game is now? Yeah. See how the pathing really makes a difference to be where you want to be on the map? Look, perfect timing. My Grump spawning. I guess it wasn't 6.30. It was more like 7 minutes because we took it a bit late. No and you can also get, like, timers, like, apps with timers and stuff like that to help with this. Yeah. Which yeah, I would no, suggest. My friend's trying to get me to download the... It's yeah. like Blitz. It, like, shows Blitz the timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. I mean... When you start getting better at this, you'll just you'll just kind of get a feeling, I think. Yeah. And you see here again, like, I'm going to show you this all the way to the next round, and then we'll look at combos. Because now after I clear my top side again, right, now I know that my bot side camps are not spawning for a while, right? Because we, we took them late. Right? They're, they're not, they're yeah. not going to be spawning now, because we took Krugs, and then we took Raptors. So now after I clear these camps again... What can I look for? I can look for... Um, I can look for Bot Gank. I can look for Dragon. I can look for his Gromp again, because now I have the timer of that, right? Mm -hmm. So now I'm just... And the point of this pathing as well is just, I want to spend as much time Bot top side and the least amount of time... I mean, the most amount of time Bot side, the least amount of time top side. You see now how much time I'm going to spend until this spawns again. We took it at like 7 minutes, so it's going to spawn like 8.30, 8.15. No, wait. No, sorry. Nine. We could take it, took it at seven. So 9.30. Okay, we have until 9.30 to be on this again. So look how much time we can spend on bot side now to do things. Mm -hmm. Until 9.30 we have. And this is, this is how you have your game be structured. This is a very structured way of playing. Okay, so let's say we do the skirmish, right? Okay, this is enemy here. This is how you should play this. Exactly this combo. What you should do here is you should actually lead the gank with ultimate. You should ultimate. You should use your ulti and ghost. Okay. You should just invis fly like invis move speed in because your ult and ghost gives move speed. So you see the enemy here. They're going. They're going on your team. You pop ghost. You pop ult. Ulti in. Auto QW. Auto QW. Then, then when they flash away, then you use your E. Because now when they use flash, they have no other escape, right? Yeah. And this is how you want to be trying to play Karzix, okay? So say he's here, right? You want to stealth out of the bush. Like this. You don't want to mm -hmm. use your leap straight away. Because then if he flashes, yes, you can get you can chase with ultimate. But the thing is you have... But it's going to be kind of obvious where I am too. Exactly, yeah. You, you're an assassin, so you want to appear out of nowhere. Let's say, let's say, for example, the enemy is here, right? And you, you know this, whatever. You have a teammate or something here. You actually want to ulti from out of out of vision. So if you ulti right here, he'll see you, right? Yeah. But if you ulti behind this wall, does he see you here? No. Up in the vision. So this is also this is also like a very strong um, identity thing with Kha'Zix. Always try and use your ultimate first. So if it's a gank, right? If you're ganking bot, even if they see you, you, you should try and kind of ulti from fog like this. But you should be looking to do like this. And he flashes and you follow. And this is very important. 
Um, I think besides that with Kha'Zix, that's pretty much the only thing you need to know. Auto Q also is... So you know how you jumped on him before, right? And you you did this. You see how you got that auto? Now you have normal. So if you ulti again, you have that auto again. Um, okay, so that ult resets the auto, right? Yep, yep. Or, so like okay. the full the full combo is auto like this, and and then make sure you're 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 clicking on him. So if he moves to the left, you move to the left. If he moves to the right, you move to the right. You want to stay right on him. So I would even say ult. Like this, walk around, ult again. Like this. Then if he flashes, you can chase with your jump. Yeah. So imagine if imagine if here like he, he can flash over this wall, right? So you come here, <laughs> you do this, he flashes over the wall, boom. Jump on him, yeah. You know, there are gonna be some cases where you can't be in alt range, right? So some cases where like you're out of range anyway. See, they're like, they're like running away from you here. Say this target is like running away. Okay. Then you would have to use your leap, right? And then chase with the ultimate. But ideally, okay. you want to lead with ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So say, yeah, say he's like running away. Obviously, you're not going to catch... If he knows that you're chasing him here and he's running away, right? He's running away like this. Then you just have mm -hmm. to use your leap. And then same combo, chase. Same thing. Um, it's important that you auto first on people. So it's important that you auto first like this. Um, the reason for that is because if you if you Q first, look how much further your range is than your auto. You see this? Yeah. So your Q range is here, but your auto range is here. That little step could be the difference. If you chase, and also your auto slows. So if you go here and you Q, and then they start moving a bit further, you're not going to get that auto, right? Yeah. Because your Q doesn't slow. So you always have to be coming here, like this. Get as close as it, get as yeah. close to them as possible. So if you can literally go on top of them like this, do that. Depending yeah, on how I think in general I'm like a little too hasty about like using my Q. Like I always use my Q first. Yep. Or just try to damage them as soon as I can, even though yep. I like I kind of neglect like my own positioning. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't like do this. You should always be ulting, and then you have this time, right? Go behind them, right? Like an assassin. Mm -hmm. So the more time you have, the better. Like if he's right here, obviously, okay, if he's walking into you, you can just, you can just kill him. But if he's like over here, ulti, I could Q right now, right? But I'm going to keep walking yeah. into him. I'm going to keep walking into him with ghost. Get right on top of him. Then he, then he might even just, he might even like, you know, use his dash, like Belveth dashes to, towards here. Still don't use your E, mm -hmm. use your next ult. Okay, now he might dash here. Use your E again. Keep chasing him. Then when he flashes here, then use your E. So your E is the last resource. So let's say you know your ulti here and he uses his Q and now he's and now you do this, right? You do this combo, he uses his E and he uses his W on you. And now you're out of ult range. So you can't actually chase onto him with ult, right? He's too far, he's like here. Then you can also use your E. Last resort. Does that make sense? Any questions about Yeah. I think this will, just these two things alone, you know, clearing properly and comboing properly, this will take your Kha'Zix game like up to like a gold or even higher than like a gold player's level. You just need to practice it okay. now. Yeah, so clearing and then combos and like kind of the way I engage. Exactly, yeah. Um, what else is there to Kha'Zix? I think evolving W second is pretty much always best. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah. Unless I fat finger or something. Yeah, W second is always the best. And in the mid game, you said, you know, Kha'Zix doesn't really like team fighting. Well, basically your job in the mid game is to just throw these Ws, right? Throw these Ws, okay. reposition. Let me see the towers here. You know, keep keep dubbing like this, keep harassing them. Keep being like a pest, okay? You want to just keep being really annoying. You want to be really annoying. And then when your time to strike, you know, you say they engage on your team here, you'll have a time to go in. And that's when you want to do this combo again. So I just kind of want to like stay out of their range, throw W's, yep. and then like sort of never, get on like an off angle. Never just running and jumping like this. Never, never, never. Yeah, that's, I, d I do that a lot, honestly. Yeah. I'm you, always like, I, I don't know what to do. You're always playing like the off angle. And you're just waiting for your time. Once they get distracted by going on your team here. Once they get distracted, they get engaged here. You're just waiting. You're still waiting. You're still harassing them. 
and then you know when your time is right you ulti in and you just one shot someone and then guess what you still have your jump this entire time so if they now go on you so say you, you go on this guy then all these guys start looking at you jump away and i leap out yeah yep. so and then you've caused such a distraction here as well that your team should now start kind of doing something yeah and then another thing is when your ult is down when your ult and ghost are down this is a perfect time to do what just farm Mm. Um, because that's that's where a lot of your, as you can see from these demonstrations, that's where a lot of your power is in your alt and in your ghost. So you know mm -hmm. when these abilities da are down, there's no issue with just full clearing, right? So let's say for example we we use our alt and our flash, and now our gromp is spawning at like the nine minute timer we said. Yeah, we just we just we just clear we just clear our camps, we clear all the way down, and then by the time this happens, our alt's gonna be back up. 